Thanks, and thanks so much for being here today. Uh, uh, the next piece is by Robert Elmore. My uh, main organ teacher, his name was Robert Plimpton, and his principal organ teacher was Robert Elmore, so sort of like my grandfather <laughs> organ teacher. <laughs> Um, last year um, was Robert Elmore, the 100th anniversary of his birthday. He was born in 1913, so I wanted to play something by him today. Um, he was born in India to missionary parents, but spent nearly his whole life in Wayne, Pennsylvania. Uh, he studied with Pietro Jan, who was the organist at uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. You know him by, as the composer of Jesu Bambino, the Christmas piece. And, um, Elmore was not only conversant with church organs, but also with theater organs. And in his compositions, you can hear that influence. I think you can hear it in the piece I'm about to play. One of his um, most popular works that's still performed, um, this is Robert Elmore's Pavan. Olivier Messiaen wrote La Nativité de Seigneur when he was still a young man, but already 
Um, in it, one can hear his mature musical style, featuring his idiosy idiosyncratic harmonies, his complex rhythm patterns, and his love of and knowledge of birdsong. Um, La Nativité is a nine movement work. I'm going to play one of those nine movements. All of the movements are meditations on the nativity of, of our Lord. The movement I'm about to play is Les Anges, or the angels. These are the angels that appeared in the night sky um, to the shepherds. Now, these angels have wings, and they are not afraid to use them. <laughs> these angels are, are going to swoop and soar and dive, and then suddenly vanish as into the night sky as suddenly as they appeared. This is Messiaen's Les Anges. This last piece, um, I would like to dedicate to David Strobel. David Strobel, as many of you know, was the chairperson of the Oregon Committee and the Oregon Fundraising Committee. And so his hard work paid, played a huge part in um, getting this magnificent instrument to be here. So I had the pleasure of working with him when he was the Bishop of the Northeast Pennsylvania Synod on a number of occasions. And um, so um, when he came to me with a suggestion that perhaps on my program I might want to play Ives' Variation on America, 
I will confess that I was in about equal parts excited by the possibility and sort of panicked. <laughs> uh, Charles Ives um, was an American original, um, one of the first internationally known American composers, uh, combined European art music with the sounds of his native New England, um, the church hymns, the parlor songs, the brass bands. And I think you'll hear all of that and more in this piece. I want to warn you about one thing. Um, there, uh, the piece is a set of variations. There are two, at two points, there are short interludes. Um, during these interludes, Ives is experimenting with polytonality. That means that um, I'm playing in one key in one hand and a different key in the other hand. So when I get to those points, I'm not, I didn't get lost. I'm not making mistakes. <laughs> that's, that's the way Ives wanted it. Um, throughout the rest of the piece, um, all of the wrong notes you hear are my own. <laughs> this is Charles Ives' um, Variations on America. 